the power of gaming on the dark side. How's it going everyone? Darshigong here, gaming on the dark side, G-O-T-D-S, and you know we got this. Coming at you with another video for Diablo Immortal. Man, eight months, actually more than eight months, man, maybe we're close to nine something months. Uh, I've been putting in the work, well, you know, collecting and saving all these fervent fangs to finally, finally get it to rank 10, dude. And um, uh, we're going to take a look here at everything about it, kind of talk about it and see, hey man, has it been worth the wait? Hmm, let's find out. So I got my last battle pass here. I got everything added. I sort of grabbed it all at one time to get the last three fervent fangs I needed in order to level up my fervent fang to level 10. Just been waiting on these three um, for the last two weeks to get this done. Man, I stayed up late to finish this thing and I got it finally. So we are going to go craft these really quickly and put it into the fang, get up to level 10. So let me, I'm gonna speed this up for you and let's get there and see what we got. All right, so I had to level up my last bit of fangs here. So I'm just gonna speed through this really quickly. I had a bunch of those Ost runes. I formed a, I made a whole bunch of um, power and commands and used those gems to help me level these things up. Kind of flying through to get where I needed to get. And um, yeah, you know, it's pretty cool that they made that change. And hopefully, the, you know, the super fastness doesn't give anyone a seizure. As we move to the end here, I grab my gems and let's get ready to level this bad boy up. Check it out. One, two, three, level five for fangs. Get it going. We hit it and ka-chow, level 10. I've been waiting a long time for this. Now, what I'm really, really, really curious about is seeing what is the resonance, right? What happens when we awaken this gem? Um, we'll see that here in a second. But let's, let's go over these stats. My bad. I'm jumping way ahead of here. All right, so this thing here increases resonance by 300. 66 combat rating. Each time you deal damage to an enemy, the enemy now takes 2.4% increased damage from your attacks up to a maximum of 24%. That is pretty cool. So almost 25% damage on something you're hitting over and over and over again, which will be some of these tougher bosses. I love this thing for Shadow Wars when I'm beating the crud out of the Immortal. It really helps to boost my damage. You also get an extra 6% damage against elite monsters, right? Which is great. So really, man, when I'm hitting something that's pretty strong, I'm doing 30% extra damage on it. It's great. Plus you get that extra 10% magic find, which helps, you know, it, it does help to get some better gear, I'm hoping. And that's pretty cool. So those are those basic things. But like I said, I'm very, very curious what happens when we awaken the gem that has taken nearly nine months to get. What happens? Let's find out. First things first, I had to buy myself a Dawnian Echo. They're not cheap. A thousand orbs is no joke. It's definitely an investment. Um, once you have that Dawnian Echo, obviously you can go talk here to Vic, the master jeweler, and you can get to work. All right, so here we go, guys. We're going to awaken it. I put this in my um, uh, main hand weapon over here. Woo! A thousand orbs, man. Doing it finely. Not too bad. Get myself an extra 10% cooldown decrease. That always helps with that one. I like that one. And uh, let's check it out. Wait a minute. What's that? Wait. Is that any different than any other standard two-star gems resonance? Dude. I don't think it is. I mean, for the most part, the attack versions of the two stars, you get the primary attack damage at 3%. You get skill damage for 2%. And yeah, at full resonance, you're going to get yourself the 1% damage per party member. So if you have four party members or three other party members in there, right? And all that, um, you get that extra 3% on top of that. I'm not too sure if it counts you as a member or not, but that's pretty much the same. I'm mean, here, check it out. Here's Bloody Reach, another two star gem. Um, yeah, it's the same exact freaking stuff. Primary attack damage increased by 3%, skill damage increased by 2%, and damage done increased by 1% per party member. It, what the? I mean, seriously, man, this thing took me nine months to get, and it's the exact same. All right. Well, anyways, let's look at the gems that's going to take to get this resonance. The first one's going to be Chained Death. That's a one-star gem. That'll get us the first ten. After that's Bloody Reach. That's a two-star gem. And last but not least, a Battle Guard, which is also a two-star gem. All in total, you'll end up with 50 extra resonance on there um, to get all three extra powerful skills. 
added to this gem. I mean, overall, the, 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 the extra stuff is great. I mean, extra primary attack damage is awesome. Extra skill damage is permanently just there. And then having your all damage increase by 1% per party member when you're in a group, that's great and all. So, I mean, all in all, this is awesome. I wonder if this stacks with the other ones if you had another two-star gem and you're putting this in, or like my uh, Berserker's Eye that just has the first two of these. I wonder if that stacks. If it does, that's pretty, pretty gnarly, and I like that. All right, guys, so all in all, what do you get for nine months worth of spending, basically, in this game? Because the only way you can get the Fervent Fang is in the Boon of Plenty and in the um, uh, Battle Pass, so you can only get it that way. Nine months, what do you get? What do you get? Tell us, Cooney! Nothing! Absolutely nothing! <sighs> yep, pretty much. Not much, guys, for it. So it's up to you if you want to save up for nine months and be getting the Fervent Fang. I mean, overall, it's not a horrible gem, but for nine months of my life, not the best investment, I feel. Um, anyways, guys, that's the video for today. I'm your boy, Darth Shigong. And, um, hey, hope to catch all you guys. You know how it goes. Gaming on the dark side. Catch you later.